Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome back to the second episode of Undertale. Oh, wait, hold my mind. There we go. Uh, when we last left off, oh, mouse. When we last left off, we had just gotten to Toriel. Uh, we had gone through the ruins, and she said something about a surprise. Do you smell that? A surprise. It's a butterscotch cinnamon pie. Oh, she got both. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. Oh, so I will hold off on snail pie for tonight. Oh, ugh, escargot pie. Mm. Eh, mine tastes good, who knows. Here, I have another surprise for you. Oh, <laughs> I just like ran into the wall. <laughs> This is it. A room of your own. I hope you like it. Aww. It's... Is something burning? Um, make yourself at home. <gasps> sure enough. Okay. <gasps> it's my room. Look at these cool toys. They don't interest you at all. <laughs> look at these toys! They're not interesting. Don't look at them. Okay. Can I sleep in the bed? <gasps> Aww. You found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. Aww. Okay, that that's adorable. Alright, anything in there? Nothing in there. What's over here? Empty photo frame. It's really dusty. Empty photo frame. It's really dusty. Okay. A box of kids' shoes in... A dispensary dis, disparity of sizes. Disparity. Wait, is it a picture of Flowey? A box of kids' shoes. I can't see it. Oh gosh, okay. Lamp. Oh, hello. Lamp. <clears throat> can I get to the, the. Can I get around there? See the other side? No, nothing. Alright. Let's head on out. <clears throat> What's this? Uh, you've seen this type of plant before, but you do not know what its name is. That's a flowey right there. That's a flowey the flower. What about this one? Can't see that one. Hello. What is this? <clears throat> it's Toriel's diary. Read the circle passage? Yes. You read the passage. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling bonely. <laughs> The rest of the page is filled with jokes of similar caliber. Okay, what is this? Ah, the cactus. Truly the m most sundry of plants. Just a regular old bucket of snails. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Wait, are these like little house slippers? Definitely bigger than the twin size bed. <clears throat> Can't see that. It's an encyclopedia of subterranean plants. You open to the middle. Ty typha, a group of wetland flowering plants with brown oblong sea pods. No more, known more commonly as water sages, water sausages. Okay, what about this one? Encyclopedia, uh, you open up the middle. Brown oblong. Okay, that's the same thing. Uh, what about this? You peek inside. <laughs> Scandalous! <laughs> it's Toriel's sock drawer. Alright. Well, let's keep going this direction. Why not? Inside the drawer are flower seeds and some broken crayons. Oh. Room under renovations. Okay. Whoa! Hello. It's you! <coughs> What about this one over here? It's you again! Wait, wait, what is it? It's you! <laughs> Alright. Oh, it's a water sausage. See? We learned something from the book. Can we can we hit these lights? No, can't. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's go down this way. What about this side? Can we go over here? Oh, hello. Hi. Up already, I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a 
curriculum, curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I have always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still, I'm glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? Um, then can I go home? What? This, this is your home now. Um, would you like to hear about this book I'm reading? It's called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? Um, how to exit the ruins. Um, how about exciting snail facts? Did you know that snails talk? Really? Slowly? Just kidding. Snails don't talk. Interesting. How to exit the ruins. I have to do something. Stay here. Oh, I didn't want to offend her, but like, this is not my home. I need to, I need to get back up to where I fell down from. It's a history, uh, it's a history book. Here's a random page. Trapped behind the barrier and fearful of further human attacks, we retreated. Far, far into the earth we walked until we reached the cavern's end. <clears throat> this was our new home, which we named home. Oh, as great as our king is, he is pretty lousy at names. <laughs> let's, let's call it home. The end of the tools have been filled, filed down to make them safer. Uh, I think this is the trap behind the barrier for full of human attacks. Can we hit X? There we go. There we go. X just makes it read all the way through. Okay, what about the fire? The fire isn't burning hot, just pleasantly warm. You could put your hand inside. Why, is there something that I need to reach in and grab? Okay, well, uh, how about the seat? Can we do some? It seems like the right size for Toriel. <clears throat> all right, what's in the fridge? For some reason, there's a brand name chocolate bar inside the fridge. For some reason, there's a brand name chocolate. Okay. And the sink. There is some white fur stuck in the drain from where she washes her hands. Inside the cupboard are cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters. There is the size of the pie intimidates you too much for you to eat it. There is a stovetop. Wait, the stovetop is very clean. Toriel must use fire magic instead. All right. Where did she go? She's always running off. Can we go over here? What's here? Inside the uh, inside is an old calendar from the beginning of 2001X. These books are worn. They must have been read many times. Okay, we can go down. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I am going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. Uh, excuse me? Excuse me. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come, they leave, they die. Family friendly, family, family friendly. You naive child, if you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I am only protecting you. Do, don't do you... Bleh. I am only protecting you. Do you understand? Go to your room. Uh, not my room, lady. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. I'm gonna keep following you, lady. You want to leave so badly? Hm. <laughs> you are just like the others. There is only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me that you are strong enough to survive. 
Oh great, now we got a fighter. Toriel blocks your way. Talk. You couldn't think of any. You couldn't think of any conversation topics. Okay. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Toriel looks through you. Ugh. That was. That was tough. Oh no no no! I don't want to. Can I? How do I get back? B. Where's the escape key? Oh gosh. How do I cancel? X. No, X selects it. Okay. Um. Okay. No. X went back. Yes. Okay. So X is to cancel. Mercy. Spare. She did not like that. I like that answer. That was a good answer. To spare. Prepares a magical attack. Spare. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. I can't believe I just survived that. That was crazy. Okay. Flee? What was that? So not fair. Uh, mercy. Uh, spare. Okay, I should be, I should be safe. Oh gosh. Oh, prepares a magical attack. Spare. What? Is she supposed to, like, kill me or something? Okay. Looks aloof. Aloof. Spare again. What are you doing? Toriel is acting aloof. Spare. Attack or run away? No. She can't do it. Oh, she can't do it. Toriel looks through you. Yay. I think we're doing it. Spare. What are you trying to... What are you proving this way? There's no way this is going to work. Spare. Fight me or leave. Toriel's acting aloof. Aloof. Spare. Stop it! Toriel's acting aloof. Spare. Stop looking at me that way. Oh. Feel bad! Because this child wants to go home. Toriel's acting aloof. Spare. Go away. You're the one that, like, said to fight. Toriel looks through you. Spare. This is like ultimate boss fighting right here. <clears throat> Kill him with kindness. Spare. Okay. Toriel takes a deep breath. I know you want to go home, but... Spare. Please. Go upstairs now. Spare. I promise I will take good care of you here. Spare. I know we don't have much, but... We can have a good life here. She's just trying to be nice, I know. Why are you making this so difficult? Please, go upstairs. Oh, she's gonna cry. <laughs> Pathetic, is it not? I cannot save even a single child. No, I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very small once... Wait. <clears throat> the ruins are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up here, uh, up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I will put them aside. 
If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. Oh. <laughs> Ouch. Goodbye, my child. Okay, go after her. Please. Just say, say. <sighs> Please tell me there's like a secondary ending or some kind of like. She's going to be crying in her room, isn't she? Is she over here? She's not over here. All right, let's go back to her room. It's going to be writing in her journal or something, right? That's not hers. This is, this is hers. She's gone. Room still under renovation? Yep. Hello, it's me. Oh, man. That was an intense battle. <laughs> and we didn't even fight. No kitchen pie. No nothing. She's just gone. Here, let's save this real quick. Seeing such a cute, tidy house. Ruined your determination. Alright, we're saved. <laughs> Where's the spiders? Are the spiders over here? What's... Okay, no. The spiders were a ways back, weren't they? Oh, let's not do that. Um, what do we have as far as gold? We have 52 gold. I want to go give some money to those spiders, just to see what they do. Hello, peekaboo. <gasps> no. We'll just run. Flee. Because we can. You're a vegetable, you can't run after me, so. There we go. I think he's a, a carrot of some kind. Hello, Mike Wazowskis. Um, let's try. Don't pick on. Please don't pick on me. Okay, I won't. Promise. Let's get the second one. Don't pick on me. Quit staring at me. Oh, gosh. What do you mean, staring? I, like with my two eyes, can only see your one eye. And you with your one eye can see my two eyes. Spare. You won. Tin gold. Sweet. How far back do we have to go? Uh, <coughs> I might not want to have to run all the way back just to feed the spiders. Run. Oh no. Can't run. Hey, stop it. Oh, stop it. Ooh. This might have been a bad idea going backwards. Flee. Farmed locally. It's not letting me flee. It's not good. Cackle softly. Uh, act. Vegetoid. Devour. Dinner. Talk. Plants can't talk, you dummy. I'm not a dummy. You're the, you're the dummy. Shouldn't talk like that. Just, just mean. Okay. Let's do flee. There we go. Now we can escape. Uh, this could be just a big waste of time going backwards like this, but I still... I, there they are. Okay. What is this one? Um, let's see. Let's... Three-eighths. Space. Four-eighths. Uh, spider crawl down and give you a donut. Oh, sweet. And leave 18 Gs. Yes. Spiders crawl down and give you a jug. <gasps> Yay. Uh, items. We got the butterscotch toff toffee pie, um, spider donut, and spider cider. And a bandage. Where did we get the bandage from? I don't know where we got the bandage. Uh, here, info. Bandage heals 10 HP. It has already been used several times. Oh. <laughs> oh, uh, okay. Go to items. 
Toy knife info. Toy knife weapon at three. Weapon at three. Made of plastic. A rare, a rarity nowadays. Um, let's go items. Info. All HP. One slice. Nice. Spider donut. Info. Hills 12 HP. Made with spider spider cider batter. And spider cider. Hills 24 HP. Made with whole spiders, not just the juice. Ooh! Ooh. And since it was made by spiders for spiders with spiders, does that mean that, like, they had to volunteer some of their friends to make that stuff? Ooh. Ooh. Mike Wazowski! Hmm. <laughs> I guess I shouldn't pick on him, right? Don't pick on him. All right, hold on. Here we go. Oh, no, why did I flee? I could have spared. I should have spared. That way I get the money. Okay, well, I guess Toriel's not, uh, not too happy with me, but that's okay. I think we can survive on our own. We have more than enough save points. So... We should be fine. Mercy spare. Muchachacha. Dance, 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 dance. Gotta dance with them, and then you can spare them. Two gold. Only two gold out of that? I got like ten the other fight. That was lame. I guess it's just random how much gold I get. All right. Let's go ahead and save here. Such a cute, tidy house. Well, it gives you determination. Save. There we go. Heading back. We're at 22 minutes. Uh, let's go ahead and head down. We will go to the rest of the uh, the ruins. Although I do feel bad. I did like the merciful fight. That was pretty cool. Huge shout out to the creator of the uh, Undertale game. Ooh, it's getting lighter. Oop, even lighter. Oh my gosh. Are we out? Oh, you. Clever. Very clever. You think you're really smart, don't you? In this world, it's kill or be killed. So you were able to play by your own rules. So you were able to play by your own rules. You spared the life of a single person. <coughs> I bet you feel really great. You didn't kill anybody this time. But what will you do if you meet a relent relentless killer? You'll die, and you'll die, and you'll die. Until you tire, tire of trying. What will you do then? Will you kill out of frustration? Or will you give up entirely on this world? And let me inherit the power to control it? I am the prince of the world's future. Dude, this is a mean little flower. Don't worry, my little monarch. Uh, my plan isn't... Regis... Region side, Regis side, Regis side. Whatever. This is so much more interesting. <laughs> okay. That that works, I guess. And here we go. Hold on. That's okay. We are at 24 minutes, going to the 30th of uh, 30 30 minute mark. Undertale by Toby Fox. Dude, was that just like the intro levels? What in the world? 
there was a camera hidden in the bushes. Wait, what? There's a camera hidden in the bushes. Okay. Let's go this way. Ooh. Oh, it's a stick. Can we get the stick? It's a tough looking branch. It's too heavy to pick up. Okay. Ooh, okay. It's been smashed like it was nothing. Turn around! Turn around! Human. Don't you know how to greet a new pal? Turn around and shake my hand. <laughs> the old whoopee cushion in the hand trick. It's always funny. Anyways, you're a human, right? That's hilarious. I'm Sans. Sans the skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now. But, you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now my brother, Papyrus, he's a human hunting fan fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through the gate thingy. Yeah, go right through there. My bro made the bars too wide to stop anyone. Quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp. <laughs> it's the same shape. <laughs> Sup, bro? You know what? Sup, bro? Brother, it's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles. You just hang around outside your station. What are you even doing? Staring at this lamp. It's really cool. Do you want to look? No! I don't have time for that. What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready. I will be the one. I must be the one. I will capture a human. Then I, the great Papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve. Respect, recognition, I will finally be able to join the Royal Guard. People will ask to be my friend. I will bathe in the showers of kisses every morning. Hmm? Maybe this lamp will help you. Sans, you are not helping, you lazy bones. All you do is sit in, is sit and boondoggle. Boon. <laughs> All you do is sit and boondoggle. <laughs> get your lazier and lazier. You get lazier and lazier every day. Hey, take it easy. I've got a ton of work t done today. A skeleton. <laughs> Sans. Come on, you're smiling. I am, and I hate it. Sigh. Why does someone as great as me have to do so much just to get some recognition? Wow, sounds like you're really working yourself. Down to the bone. Oh, ugh! I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. <laughs> Wow. Hey. <laughs> Did he come back just to say that? Okay, you can come out now. <laughs> mm. 
wow. You ought to get going. He might come back, and if he does, you'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. Just a conveniently shaped lamp. <laughs> Can we... What's in here? It's some sort of checkpoint or sentry station, but there's bottles of ketchup, mustard, and relish sitting inside. It's some sort of checkpoint station, blah, blah, blah. Okay, we, we established it already. Okay, cool. Can we look at the pine trees? Actually, hey, I hate to bother you, but can you do me a favor? I was thinking my brother's been kind of down lately. He's never seen a human before, and seeing you might just make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous, even if he tries to be. Thanks to a million, I'll be uh, I'll be up ahead. Wait, you'll be up ahead this direction, or you'll be up ahead the other direction? He like. Okay, let's go. Let's go this direction. This way. This way. The conveniently shaped lamp is awesome. <gasps> yes, save point. And that's right at 30 minutes. Uh, the convenience of that lamp still fills you with determination. Save. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Undertale with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Second episode, I think. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos. But we all know it's really just, you know, a call to action that YouTube says you should do at the end of all your videos. But that's up to you. I love you guys. Have a great night. We'll talk to you very soon. <laughs> Outro.